to speak out. You've got to speak out against the madness. Welcome back. And I want to answer <clears throat> the most frequently asked question of recent. And that is, hasn't Wendy been convicted of perjury and false swearing and in September? And last May, a year and a half ago, wasn't she convicted of false reports to police? False swearing, etc., etc. Proving that you, you've been telling the truth all these years and she's been lying? Yes. That's true. The second question is not so easy. Then why does she still have full, absolute legal custody of your son? We've told you the answer before. When you're a father in custody court, you're guilty until proven innocent. Once proven innocent, you remain guilty. I'm going to prove it to you. I thought, what's the best case that ties in the church, the judge, the city police, the district attorney's office, Wendy Flanders, attorney Jim Wallman, and demonstrates that in Lancaster, even if you've got film proving you're innocent, you can be found guilty. For that, let me give you some background. In 2002, Wendy Wu filed her first false PFA against me, throwing me from my home, evicting me from my elevator works, cafe, and lounge tossing me on the street. So, one false accusation from Wendy, and I'm out, and she had full custody of Quinta ever since. I was afforded 17% of time with my son immediately. I was told in legal terms and on a contract called a court order that I had shared legal custody, but none of that proved to be true. Once I was accused, I was no longer his father. So let's go on. In 2002, until today, Kathy Yoder, Ted Yoder, Wendy Flanders, and Jim Wallman have conspired and coordinated to contact the police over 40 different times. That's right, as many as 40 different times to file incident reports and try to have me arrested. Let's get to one of them, where they actually got a conviction. This is the one they herald as proof that I am the bad man. Let me introduce you to some of the players. We've got Kathy Yoder, Calvary Church counselor, long-term member, respected in throughout the church. Kathy Yoder is the one who told the leadership and all the individuals at Calvary, how bad I was and how wonderful Wendy is to this day. We've got her husband, Ted Yoder, who you'll see in a moment was convicted of attempting to put me in jail by lying. We've got Jim Woolman, a special kind of a lawyer. Jim previously told me that he's having sex with Wendy. He also has been found be a bad, bad man. He tricked one of his clients, got caught, was brought up before the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania, forged a letter, and tried to cover his sorry arse before the Supreme Court and got caught. So he has been sanctioned by the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania for lying, basically for fraud and forgery. So that's the kind of guy, he's, he's over there. And you know Wendy Flanders. I went to the police including the chiefs of police, the district attorney, the politicians, mostly the church that was supporting Wendy and helping her out, and others. And I told them that I had film to prove that Wendy Flanders was a liar and that I was innocent. I was ignored. I was called an agent of Satan and a tool of Satan by pastor, master pastor, Johnny Miller, Calvary Church. $30 million operation against me. Gib Armstrong, Dick Schellenberger, Gary Hankey, the list goes on of the members of Calvary Church that I've come across, let's say. 
Finally, in 2004, there was a break in the action where when Wendy, so arrogant and so used to getting away with it, filed an accusation against me about an incident that happened at the city police station, or rather an incident that didn't happen. If you were going to pick a place that you'd feel the safest for not being accused of false accusations, how about city police station? Well, you might think so. Think again. 2004, after already been accused, after already facing numerous false accusations, I came here to pick up my son, who went to the city police station. From there, went downhill. This time, the city police surveillance video camera caught the action. While I was arrested that evening in front of my six-year-old son and hauled away in handcuffs with Wendy waiting outside, at least I was released the next morning and the charges dropped when they viewed the video. Finally vindicated. November 2004. Yeehaw, you'd think. No more false accusations gonna fly from this woman. Not so fast. By now I demonstrated, at least to the district attorney detective, that I had filmed to prove that Wendy Flanders has been lying for years. And the individuals at the Calvary Church have been helping her. So when, next, Wendy Flanders and Ted Yoder accused me again and attempted to have me put in jail for an indirect criminal contempt charge of attacking them in the courthouse lobby, the courthouse cameras and my camera caught it and they were fried. In fact, Teddy was so confident that he came back and did a full reenactment for the detective including all of his lies. Footage from my own camera that day and from the courthouse footage, I was standing right in this area, coincidentally right where the victim exhibits were just the other week. And Wendy and Ted came down the stairs. Fortunately for me, not only was my camera on, but this camera over here was on. Subsequently, Ted was charged, and Wendy, for the list of charges they were convicted of last year. In filming the documentary, I finally had charges against them and needed to get their comment and wanted to get that perp walk, as they call it, when you see the guilty person walk out after they've been charged. Well, I waited at the back door Ron Harper went to the front door of the court, and let's see what happened next. She was unsure as to whether the current order in place makes her the guardian of Here comes the criminals at this point. Mr. Wallman, does your wife know you're sleeping with Wendy Flanders? Mr. Wallman, do not touch me. Mr. Wallman, get your face out of my way. I'm not touching you. Mr. Wallman, do not I, touch me. You can say anything you want. Hey, hey you, you touch her anything. again. Gonna make some more false accusations, folks. Do not touch my camera. Do not touch me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> speak out. You've got to speak out against the madness.